Good evening, friends, and uh, welcome to the final day, day eight of our Youth Week of Prayer. I trust that you have been blessed by the messages uh, of uh, the current week. Uh, and today we close off this wonderful week of prayer with our final message, which is really entitled to love is to wait. To love is to wait. And uh, the story is told by a preacher, Max Lucado, of uh, an incident that occurred in 1989 with the Armenian earthquake that unfortunately killed over 30,000 people of a father who moments after the earthquake rushed to uh, the site of the school uh, where his uh, son uh, went to school. And um, the father, we are told, had always promised his son that no matter where his son would be, that the father would always be there with him. And so driven by this promise, he began to work frantically on the debris, pulling stone by stone in search of his son. The situation looked pretty grim and desperate. And as the hours drew on, you know, the people around him began to say, perhaps it is too late. He ought to give up. There is no hope in finding his son alive. Eight hours passed, 16 hours passed, 20 hours passed. The father tired and bruised and sapped of strength, yet could not give up because of the promise he had made to his son and driven by that promise, continued to work on the debris. And then finally, after 38 hours, when all hope was lost, the removal of the stone, he could, and after shouting out, Arman, the name of his son, he heard a voice, Dad, are you there? And the son said something really profound. He said, you know, he had assured the rest of his schoolmates who were all trapped that they were not to worry because his dad had promised him that no matter where he was, he would one day come to find him. And so he did. It's a lovely and moving story, but it also reminds us of the wonderful promise that we found in the Bible of Jesus' second coming. Jesus, in a similar manner, has promised his faithful children on planet Earth that one day he is coming back to take us home, that all the misery in this world will one day come to an end when he comes to take each and every one of us to be with him. You can remember the wonderful words, the promise in John chapter 14, where he says, do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If they were not so, I would have told you. And he says, I go to prepare a place for you. And when I do, I will come back to take you so that where I am, you may be also. What a wonderful promise. And this promise of his second coming has sustained believers throughout the centuries. You know, the Bible is littered with the promises of Jesus' second coming. No less than 1,800 uh, promises in the Bible of his second coming. In fact, for every promise of his first coming, there you can find eight uh, promises alluding to his second coming in the Bible. So the Bible is littered with promises of his second coming. It is a sure thing. And this promise has sustained believers throughout the centuries. None other than the Apostle Paul. I mean, I just want you to read the text for us today. In 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 6 to 7. And these were kind of his parting words, right, right before he died. 
he reads this. He writes this. Listen to this beautiful words. I'm reading from the NIV. For I am already being poured out as a drink offering, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have loved his appearing. And this is the faith, the faith rather, that sustained hope. You see, friends, as we are coming to close, coming to close this uh, week of prayer, thinking about what it means to love. And our final one is to love is to wait. Those who love the Lord will wait for his second coming. They will be sustained by this promise of one day being united with him, never to part. And so as we come to a close of this wonderful youth week of prayer, my prayer for you, as well as for me, is that our love for Jesus will help us and sustain us as we wait eagerly for his second coming. This is my prayer for you, as well as for me. In Jesus' name, amen.